So once you've made your associations with any of the objects in the model, you can start to manipulate the tags here. So as shown previously, I've got various parts of the model um, associated here. You can see the systems are associated with the walls or the windows, then independent parts of that um, object as well, which I'll cover in the next video. Um, so for this demonstration, um, the chips and board partition systems are in the interior spec here. And you can see they've been associated. If I want to avoid using the uh, Uniclass titles or codes and just use any in-house codes you have or um, very handy to use trade sections or works packages, um, you can alter the prefix and suffix here within the system. Um, so for example, this could be the internal uh, walls trade package, you can call it RW01. Once that's saved, as I say, that's um, within this system overall that I've just amended. Um, that's within Chorus, but not yet in the model. So I'll use the model tab, as has been discussed, I think, in the second video, as the unassociated and associated items within my model already tabulated. And it'll show up as an issue here where there's a warning to say, once I use the drop down menu, uh, within this system here, the internal walls, chips, and board partition systems, this is the current information. And the problem is that the parameters don't match. Hopefully you can see that there in red. So what I'll do now is, as described before, you can use the two arrows to navigate to find where that is in the model. In this case, I'll use the chain link to update the actual parameters within the model. So that's now pushed through the information from Chorus into the model. And if I then click into the actual wall itself, that's where the information has now popped through to come into the prefix and suffix here. So the next step with just simple amending of the family is to change the tag uh, parameters there. So go into the, into the actual label. I can edit that and just remove, say, perhaps the, the title and the code to leave me with the prefix and suffix in just case of saving that into your project. There's a new family. Now I've got one here, for example, called prefix and suffix, which is I'm just going to save over that one. That's the one I want. So I'll replace the existing file and then load that into the project. And that's where I can just go back to the actual plan view and therefore change that to, to the other tag prefix and suffix only. And I'll just be showing, say, the trade package with my own in-house code. You don't necessarily need to have all the Uniclass um, titles and numbers there, but they're still going to be there for you in the background. It's still going to be associated to this particular uh, gypsum board all in the spec, so I can still easily filter down and search and see that's still the one that's associated, but it's got those extra prefix and suffix items. It's very handy to start um, amending what you want to show on your drawings, um, lots of options for manipulating the content and uh, deciding how to split up your trade packages.